Let me ask you about the other front, which is the West Bank. You know, there has been 300 Palestinians killed since uh, October 7. Uh, the, you know, the occupation army just runs amok anywhere it wants. It to goes into homes, throws people out, uses the facilities and so on. They tie them up and so on. So how long will this go on? Will you ever confront Israel on what it's doing in the West Bank? So let me say a few things about the West Bank. Number one, uh, Israel does have a right to uh, protect itself, to conduct operations against terrorism, including uh, terrorist activities in the West Bank. They have the right to uh, uh, conduct operations uh, to provide security. Uh, but just as we have made clear in Gaza, it's true for the West Bank that they must also take possible measures to avoid uh, any harm to civilians. I will also say that we have made very clear to is, uh, Israel that we think they need to do more to uh, police and prevent extremist settler violence in the West Bank. And we have taken our own actions to hold extremist settlers accountable when they commit violent actions. And we will continue to do, to do that. We will continue to speak um, uh, both loudly from here about it and directly to Israel about it. Yeah, but you are fully aware that Israel, under the pretext of protecting security, they can go into any home, as we have seen them do, like maybe 10 times in the last 24 hours and so on, in Hebron, in Geneva, anywhere they want to. So they can continue to do this under the pretext of security against unarmed civilians. I mean, we're not talking about Hamas presence. So, so uh, that is your claim. Um, I will say okay. that, I, well, that, that I cannot comment on, right. on an individual operation where I don't have the details, but of course they have the right to conduct legitimate security and anti-terrorism uh, operations in the West Bank to maintain calm and maintain stability there. Okay. So you, you think that it is legitimate for them to go into any home, as we have seen in Hebron, you know, so a couple I, of days ago? I mean, I can send you the, the articles. It's not my Said, so you're, you're asking me to make a blanket statement about specific operations, which I'm not willing to do. I'm willing to say that, if, as I said previously, that, of course, they have the right to conduct legitimate anti-terrorism uh, operations uh, when they see a terrorist threat, whether it, in, it, whether it be in the West Bank, whether it be in Gaza. They have the right to take action to, um, uh, to try to... Uh, mitigate or neutralize that threat, but it is important that they do so in keeping with international humanitarian law. Okay, my last question on the Palestinian Authority. Now, you said from this podium that you want to see the PA revamped or, you know, re-energized, whatever that means. What does that mean, really? How would you, how would you like to see this revamping being effectuated? We would like to see the, the Palestinian Authority take additional steps to crack down on corruption. We would like to see them take additional steps to engage with civil society. Uh, we have had direct discussions uh, with them about that. Secretary Blinken uh, made these points directly to uh, President Abbas when we were last in uh, Ramallah, and we will continue to, to engage in those conversations with them. Okay. Thank you.